All right, so it's good to understand what kind of random variable you have to know what kind of probability distribution that you would actually use to find probabilities. You're going to see there's kind of a key of knowing if you have discrete or continuous or even not a random variable. The time, I don't even have to read the rest of the sentence. Time is something that is measurable, so that would be continuous. Is the exact time it takes to evaluate 27 plus 72. Once again, time, measurable. So it doesn't matter, this evaluation, they're just kind of trying to throw you off there. Is the eye color of people. Now, eye color, that would be a qualitative variable. And that's not even a random variable because it's not numerical. The number, I don't have to read anymore. Whenever it's a count, it's a number, it's a discrete random variable, the number of bald eagles, discrete. And so those are kind of your key words, the number, discrete. So anything that is measurable, okay, like time, distance, height, weight, is going to be continuous. Anything that's just a count, a number of, will be discrete. All right, so get those differences down, and I think you'll see once you kind of get those keywords, they're not so bad.